I just think it's nuts. I do think it's nuts uh, that he's that young. It sort of looks like Federer when he first came to the the fray of winning, especially at Wimbledon. Um, I think saying that grass is not Alcaraz's favourite surface, maybe not now. I, I, he looked really comfortable on it um, towards the latter stages of the tournament to begin with. Didn't. But I've always said this, a mark of a good player is someone who can play badly and yet still win. Yeah, I think I think he's he's the best player I've seen at this age. Not I mean not that I've yeah. been around that long, but I think he's better than like he's more complete than Nadal was at this age. Like mm. I think Nadal obviously had to overcome the Federer challenge, but Nadal was able to do that on clay specifically early on because that was yeah. yeah his bread and butter basically and that whipping forehand against Federer's backhand was always going to play into his advantage but you know Alcaraz is coming up against a refined Djokovic like like basically the most efficient version of Djokovic that like no one can beat and like even if Nadal and Federer were playing at their very best would find it difficult to beat him the way he's playing at the moment mm. and he's able to do this at 20 years old is kind of scary i think for the rest of the the tour like i think Djokovic could obviously mm -hmm. you know still beat him in a best of five like i think it's you know it's toss of a coin but for the other guys it's like yeah we need to step up our game because otherwise yeah. this guy is just gonna effectively like run away with it if he stays motivated he could God knows how many slams he could win. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, that, I think you make a good point about the adaptability. I think Djokovic mentioned that. Had to do it so quickly to yeah. to prepare differently. You know, he wasn't... Like, obviously, he did lose that first set 6-1, but obviously, mentally, he was better prepared because he didn't kind of cramp up like he did last time. He was able to stay a bit composed and find a way back in in that second set. And then, obviously, mm. yeah, he's adjusted his movement on the grass as he's gone through. I think it was big that he got three Queens, like that first match when he nearly lost. That's given him time to adjust in the matches to the, to the movement and just strategy and stuff. So yeah, I think it's just a, how fast he's learning. It's just but like, I'll tell you what <laughs> where can sets he go? Him apart. I'll tell you what sets him apart from literally every other young player on the tour. And that is the thing Djokovic does so well. When things start to go against him, he'll change what he's doing. Uh, uh, one of the stats, if, uh, if you know, if you were watching the match, if anyone's watching the match, uh, in the fourth set, Djokovic probably advanced half a meter inside the uh, the baseline or half a meter forward from where he was striking his ground strokes. Um, he went forward half a meter with it in order to take time away from Alcaraz, and that's why Djokovic got that fourth set after a nice little toilet break. Um, but like I say, that that sort of change is something that Alcaraz then did in the fifth, and that's why he'd won. Um, because those sorts of shifts are they're fundamental. You can't let someone keep their momentum, um, and they're both seeming to be. They they both did that so well to each other. Yeah, it's it's the it's the complete game, isn't it? Really, like not just the shots, mm. the athleticism, but the the brain, the tactical awareness, yeah. like. And and obviously the belief that he can he can beat these guys, which I think <clears throat> some of the other younger players maybe just lack like a tiny bit. And I think that's what he said after the match. He was like he hopes it can like motivate or give belief to some of those other younger players. I mean, yeah. I don't know how much it will do or whether that'll make a difference, but you know, like like half the battle is in your head. Like that's the classic kind of cliche but especially in tennis like most of these other players have got most of the shots but when it comes down to it it's you know one of the greatest players ever at the other side of the net and in the key moments can you hold your nerve and do you really believe that you can actually win so i think that's the thing that he that extra little thing that he has as well to just complete the whole game especially you know at the age of 20 as well which is just what makes it more incredible hey there tennis friends thanks so much for tuning in if you enjoyed that episode then you might want to click here for this one see you there